All right, guys, uh, we've got on the call video conference from Lexington, Kentucky. Of course, my hometown, uh, home of the bluegrass, home of the wildcats. Have to disclose that. Uh, there is a lot of fans up here, though. Uh, that was our, our first location of Get the Gig at Cocktails 2. Uh, and by the way, we are uh, getting ready to announce the second location in Ohio that we're heading there to do a live show. So it's exciting things happening. Uh, first, uh, Brett, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what do you do for Cocktails 2? Uh, my name is Brett Canary. I'm down here in Lexington, Kentucky. I am the general manager of uh, Cocktails 2. Okay. Brett, uh, when I came to you originally about Get the Gig 2, were you skeptical? Skeptical? No. It was one of those things where, I guess, research and uh, kind of learning the foundation and then seeing what's been local and what hasn't been done, seeing how it's worked for you guys in Ohio and uh, bringing a new concept. Very exciting. Uh, I wouldn't say skeptical, but just it's more of those. It's a, it's a new venture, so you want to look at every aspect to make sure it is worth everybody's time and, and kind of see where the road does take you. And we visualize that. Obviously, I think that's what we, we saw after a couple talks, and I think we're there today, and we see where it's going. Right. What do you think makes Get the Gig so unique? I think Get the Gig is very unique because it gives so many new people an opportunity to get their faces out in public, uh, whether it's just family, friends, a bar full of people. Uh, it kind of establishes them and say, hey, we're new, we're up and coming, or we've been around, and we haven't played a lot lately, and it's uh, just kind of reinventing the artist in a sense and, and getting them back on the track, getting Lexington back on that live music scene that was so popular years ago here. Yeah. Um, how has it, the excitement in your bar, has it changed for Wednesdays? I think Wednesdays has been crazy since we've done this. Uh, this week will be our third week coming up. You know, we filled all of our slots for the 10 weeks we have very quickly. Um, everybody's brought a crowd with them. Definitely, numbers have gone up. It's been a, a entertainment. It's, it's been an environment. It's just a, a fun environment. It's increased that atmosphere quite a bit. What percentage of the customers you think that are coming right now, maybe either new or haven't been there in a while or never been there? Do you think from that eight o'clock? From get the gig, I would definitely say there's at least percentage-wise. Yeah. I would say. Upwards of fifty percent of a lot of new faces. How much? Uh, I'd say up to fifty percent. Fifty of new faces. Just be just because really? there's so many people we have from out of town. Right. Usually there's only one person, maybe two from Lexington. Everybody else is traveling thirty minutes an hour to get here. Right. So they are kind of it's unknown territory to them. So it is something new for them. Right. Um, Percentage-wise, what have you seen in your numbers from that eight o'clock slot to that ten o'clock slot? You know, I would say in numbers wise during get the gig percentage uh, increase. A heavy increase. A heavy increase. Uh, I would say anywhere in the, the, the sixty to eighty percent range of sales just in those two hours. How much? Sixty to eighty percent. Sixty percent more? Wow. Yes. Okay. Impressive. Um, and and that's just starting and it's gonna keep building momentum and that's what do you like the idea of the, the table reservation thing and how it's working your, that you get to sell them and recoup some of your investment? I think the, tab, the way the table reservation works for you the gig, it definitely solidifies those coming from elsewhere that haven't been here before. It guarantees them a spot, a spot to see their loved ones, their friends, whoever they're coming to support. It, it mm -hmm. gets them right up front, makes them feel comfortable, let their, their artists know they're supporting them fully. And it just creates that better environment because everybody close on the front half of the, the building where the stage is, it just, uh, they feed off the energy of that music going on, so it's definitely a funner atmosphere yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. You, do you feel like like a sense of a new buzz around Cocktails too? that it's like the place to go on Wednesday now? Absolutely, I would say with Get the Gig on Wednesdays, it has kind of created that staple that we're looking for because Wednesdays... You know, 10 years ago in the city, there's always something new every day. And it kind of spread it out, fizzled out a little bit. There wasn't as much buzz. Mm -hmm. But having something so fun and successful, and people know what they're getting into, and know what kind of entertainment show it's being put on, and it's the environment. Right. It's it's pretty much a lot. 8 to 10, everybody knows we can come on this side of town now. Right. And watch this uh, audition. 
Yeah, as far as the quality of talent, what have you seen for the first two weeks? Right, so right. It's, it's definitely shown progression you, 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 and getting those people that haven't even played here yeah. or haven't played in a while yeah. around town to get them kind of back in that scene, back in that environment, and just uh, a different avenue as far as what type of right, music. Right. I've seen the same people playing every night, every part of town. Exactly, and exactly. And, and where else can you go see four musicians for free, pretty much, unless you reserve a table? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> and on the stage at the same time. Yeah, it, it's super exciting. I was watching some. I actually knew Jared Stratt, and I was actually surprised he won because he's from Le Tyrone, I think. Did he bring a crowd, or was it just the people liked him? He's a guy that's been in and out of the music scene. Yeah. In different groups, uh, whether it's solo, bands, everything, and just kind of getting on, his, on doing his own thing. Yeah. He still play with other groups and whatnot, of course. But this is more of taking his personality, his uniqueness, where it's just him, the focus on just him. And right. Kind of put his touch on the music when he sings. Yeah. And uh, he's a great guitar player, great voice. Yeah, he is. I mean, the last six songs, we didn't see him last week. I mean, he, he absolutely killed every single one of them. He was awesome. Yeah. He actually opened for Aaron Lewis here before. That's how oh, good yeah. he is. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good. He's done. And uh, Eric seems like he's gravitating your MC. How's Eric enjoying it? Big E loves it. Big, Big E loves it. Uh, what, what was his name? I forgot. Big Easy. Big Easy. Big Easy from MTV. He loves it. He, he's, he's taking over, man. He's, uh, he loves it. He lives it. He just, he's killing he's it. He's killing it. It is. It is. And I always say that's one of the most important things is your MC. Because he kind of gives that energy and he's into it. And I, I love it. Absolutely. Well, well, he's definitely a whole different dynamic by having him versus just a, a regular kind of monotone guy. Who's right. Off and he, he pumps it full, so it's, it's awesome. Good, good. All right. Uh, anything else you want to add before we sign off? Yeah. Two days away, guys. Yeah. Three yeah. Coming All up, right. So All right. What, what, one, more, one more question. One more question. How has been the support from us from Get the Gig? Uh, supporting you, you guys, and making sure that you're successful. I'd say having you guys backing this behind us, bringing it to us, laying the foundation makes it it's so much easier than any time you start from the ground up. It just having you guys there to to spin off of, to bounce questions off of, to to see the platform, to put our touch on it, but to keep it what it's supposed right. to be. Um, you guys made life a lot easier on me with you guys and Eric behind me. It's, it's taking a lot of pressure off me. Um, it's more so just, you know, we get these guys in here and you guys help set it up. We roll with it and, you know, we bring these guys back and, uh, you know, we give these guys something to shoot for and uh, keep them interested. And that's that's the best thing about this part is by having a team like you guys, it makes, just it makes life easier for, for me on the ground. Yeah, great. Well, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule and we'll chat soon, I'm sure. I appreciate it, man. I look forward to seeing you. See you, buddy. Bye-bye.